I foresee that many who read the following relations and those after the chapters will believe that they are fictions of the imagination. But I declare in truth that they are not fictions, but things actually done and seen. Nor were they seen in any state of mind asleep, but in a state of full wakefulness. For it has pleased the Lord to manifest himself to me, and to send me to teach the things that will belong to the new church, which is meant by the new Jerusalem in Revelation. To this end he has opened the interiors of my mind and spirit, whereby he has given me to be in the spiritual world with angels, and at the same time in the natural world with men, and this now for five and twenty years. I once saw an angel flying beneath the eastern heaven with a trumpet in his hand into his mouth, and he sounded it to the north, to the west, and to the south. He was clad in a robe that waved behind him as he flew, and was girt about with a band flashing and sparkling as with rubies and sapphires. He flew downward and descended slowly to the earth, not far from where I was. And he touched the ground, he stood upon his feet and walked to and fro. And then, seeing me, he directed his steps toward me. I was in the spirit, and in that state was standing on a hill in the southern quarter. And when he came near, I spoke to him and asked, What is to come to pass now? I heard the sound of your trumpet and saw you descending through the air. The angel answered, I am sent to call together the men most renowned for learning, of most penetrating genius, and most eminent reputation for wisdom from the countries of the Christian world who are dwelling on this continent, that they may assemble on the hill where you are now, and from the heart express their minds as to what they had thought, understood.